welcome back to the Wild Cherry Farm and another episode of um, how long will it take to monetize my small YouTube channel and um, it's another sunny Monday so I can film a little bit in the garden and I can talk about how my week went since the last time. So last week I said that I would post two uh, videos per week, one on analytics and one on the creative topics. Uh, I ended up posting four videos last week because I started a challenge, a 30 day challenge to post every weekday, post a new video every weekday. Um, and it was a lot of fun to do that last week and I had lots of ideas and I took a break over the weekend, but I think I'm not going to be able to keep it up because I find it difficult to just like um, sit down and record a video like this and just leave it like that and put it out there. I always want to do a bit of editing and music and b-roll and so I end up putting a lot of work into my videos and it's not sustainable to to do that every day. I can't keep it up and um, now my son got sick last night as well so it's like there's always something happening anyway. And um, I'm, I, I think I'm going, I'm going to try to make as many videos as I can during the week without burning out and without um, going over the top. So like trying to post more videos last week was helpful in many ways. First of all, I just try to create quickly rather than thinking too much about what I created. So I, um, I had an idea and I just filmed it, um, edited it and published it. That was it without overthinking the matter too much. And I think um, that felt really good and um, nice and spontaneous. Also, I noticed that the more videos I created, the more ideas I would have, which is funny because you think you run out of ideas, but when I was making one video and I finished it, I had like three more ideas for the next videos. And even taking the break over the weekend has kind of stopped that a little bit, but I know I can get back into it. So I don't actually think that you need to have a niche in the beginning. I think you can really start um, with whatever you're interested in. And because you want to practice making videos anyway, so you want to get into the um, the mode of making videos and learn all the skills that you need for editing and how you can make your videos better, all these things. And while you're learning all these skills, you can try different interests that you have, a different niche. So you don't have to decide from the beginning, which feels very liberating. Because I find like if I need to niche down from the beginning, I um, it blocks my creativity, definitely. So I need to be wide open and be able to do everything I want to do. And then I think your niche can come um, can come out of your videos over time. So you will notice what you enjoy making and what people enjoy watching. And you just make more of that. But then, like for example, now many people subscribe to my channel because of my nature journal videos. And I definitely want to do more nature journal videos because I really enjoy making them and drawing in nature but I definitely don't want to only make videos about nature journaling I think that would become like that would be really boring for me after a while I want to be able to fit in all my other interests as well I can stay in the journaling niche because I love journaling and maybe art niche as well because I love creating art and being creative so maybe there's a bit more of a niche coming out there at the moment. I noticed um, like showing recipes wasn't that successful and um, I still like making uh, recipe videos because I like to keep them somewhere so I don't forget about them myself. Seasonal recipes and from garden to table recipes, all these things I, I enjoy collecting them somewhere so I might keep making a few videos like this but they're probably they're not going to be my main topics so things like this you can find out 
um, while you're creating videos. So now I'm inside my analytics and as you can see this shows um, the analytics for the last 28 days and you can see here that it's definitely after going up even in the last week and that's because I posted more videos. I'm going into the last seven days and we have exactly 70 subscribers, 10 a day. That's good. Kind of the same as the week before, um, but definitely more views. Um, so in the last week there was 2.5 thousand views, which is 33% more than the previous seven days. So that's good more watch time hours 93 and a half hours people watched my content which is great yeah 70 subscribers so you can see sometimes more sometimes less but on average 10 a day and then i can go down here and i can look at my top content during those last seven days like i always try when i don't post a video i try to make a short from one of the longer videos, which sometimes can bring more traffic to your channel. So for example, for the art supplies for nature study, I made a short as well, and that got a lot of views. Um, I don't know, it's not a great short, I have to say. I, I don't think you can see much in it. I was doing it like at night, kind of in a quick way, and didn't, didn't put much effort in, but still I got 538 views from it. And quite a lot of likes so I don't know sometimes you're surprised like you do things and you try things and they um, people like them and then other times you put a lot of effort in and then nobody's interested <laughs> so you really have to try different things and just see what works and then the next one is an older video the nature journal with me for beginners that I made in late August and that was the second most watched video in the last week. Okay, so if you go into content, you can actually see an overview of all the impressions that you got on YouTube and how they led to watch time. So overall, my videos were shown for 44,600 times on YouTube and the click-through rate, CTR, is 3.1 percent and so that means 3.1 percent of all the people who saw my videos clicked on them and i don't know it's probably not that great but it's not that bad either i'm not sure i have to find out more about this but it usually depends on your thumbnail and your title if people are interested in clicking on it so you can improve your thumbnail and your titles but you can do all these things over time. So I think it's really good to get started and then to improve over time. And every week you can look at other parts that you can improve if you want and other things that you can try. And you will just keep learning and growing. Okay, one more thing I wanted to show you and I didn't even talk about properly last week. Most of you probably know this already, but maybe not everyone. So um, what do you actually need to start earning on YouTube? And you can go into earn in your analytics and you can find out here what your eligibility is. To start earning from advertising on your videos, you need 1000 subscribers and at least 4000 watch time hours on your long form videos or 10 million uh, views on your shorts. Okay, recently they... Um, they changed this a little bit and now you can have, when you have 500 subscribers and 3000 watch time hours, you can actually start earning from other little things. Like you can have a little membership on your site or um, there's other things up here. They're all explained if you want to look at them. So my first goal is to reach these 500, which I um, wanted to reach by the 21st of September because that's when I am going on a, on a retreat by myself and um, a kayaking and meditation retreat next weekend. So, um, and I'm getting quite close and maybe if it keeps going like this, I might actually reach, reach this goal, my first goal. You still need the public um, watch hours and I still have a good bit to go there, but 
that's okay. I mean, we'll get there eventually. Just one last thing. Um, looking at analytics is really interesting, but um, I know that you are real people, all my subscribers, and I really appreciate every one of you. And um, you're not just numbers for me. So I'm really happy that you are watching my content and enjoying it. And I would love to hear about you if you want to say hello in the comments below. And um, or if you have a channel, I come over and check it out. Um, I would love to get to know you better and meet you. And I'm very happy you're here. So thanks very much for watching and we'll talk to you soon again. Bye.